and right now, are you bringing in uh, enough money to be able to pay your bills and do the things that you need to do financially? It's comfortable. So right now, I think it's a good work-life balance because I'm charging enough to work 25 teaching hours and then be comfortable financially. Uh, without further ado, we've got Clara Tong in the house. Woo -woo. Hello, Clara. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so glad that you are here. Clara, tell everybody a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and what you tutor. Well, my name is Clara Tong. As you can see from my title, I tutor math online to students in grade 8 through Calculus 2. I'm based in Vancouver, Canada, and I really enjoy helping students through their math journey. Yes, because it is a journey, isn't it? Like that, just from from where they start to where they end up, it, it is an incredible journey. And and before you started tutoring, what did you do before you started tutoring? I did a number of things. I did a lot of odd jobs, including photography. But I was also a teacher in a in China for three years, and I taught in a few schools in Canada, but they were all kind of short term contracts that didn't end up going anywhere after that sure 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 so right before you joined take us back on the on the journey right before you joined jumpstart where were you at inside of your tutoring business i already had students um i had them in person and i found them through kind of like a, an agency mm -hmm. so i always had to pay them a fee from what i earned and um, when I joined Jumpstart, this was in fall of 2020, um, the pandemic was well underway. Everybody was sick of online learning and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to keep my students online as well as my new ones. Mm, yes, that, that, and that, that's a scary place to be, right? I mean, that was, that was a very scary time as we're starting to think like, okay, the world is changing very quickly right now and I either have to change with it or figure something out? What were some of the things that you were saying to yourself when you were going through that? I was just hoping to be able to make it through April. Okay, well, I mean, pandemic started in March, right? Yeah. So that was when spring break hit and I knew that there was going to be a lull in students because of spring break. Sure. But as April came, I just, I just prayed that I would be able to make the same amount of money that I was making last April. And then I, I got through that school year, summer went, and then um, in the fall, I was really thinking like, oh, well, these current students I have are, they're going to be graduating. What am I going to do after that? Mm -hmm. And then that is when I, I saw, I scrolled on Facebook and I just saw this jumpstart masterclass. Like it, it was, it was like a four day countdown or something like that. And I saw posts every day about that. And I, I looked at the video in bed like I, I was just lying in bed scrolling and then I saw this video and I was like I need to do that I know I need to do that <laughs> oh I love it I love it and what were your goals at that point in time I was just trying to I wanted the business to continue I didn't want to go back to the school system um so I, I wanted the business to thrive and hopefully be able to stay online forever Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you went through the, the Jumpstart class, what was that experience like for you? It was really interesting because I met so many other online tutors because when I tutored in person, I was the only person that I knew that was even doing full-time tutoring. Mm -hmm. So meeting other tutors was really cool. Um, and I felt like I had the support of the other tutors um, because when you go out to market yourself, or at least for me, I'm, I'm not used to it because my background is in science and education. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not used to putting myself out there. Um, but when I have other tutors around me doing the same thing, then it feels much more normalized. Yeah. I never thought about that before. That is that is a very interesting you know, point of view, just because other people are doing it. You're like, okay, if they can do it, 
I can do it. You know, what's holding me back, right? I love it. And so then uh, as you're going through Jumpstart, what were some of the results that you got inside of your business? I found um, the first breakthrough for me was when I found a student that was outside my local area. They were in, a, I think they were at least one hour drive away. So there is no way that I would be able to have that student if it weren't for Jumpstart. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. And so then you started working with that student and then you just started to see the possibilities of, wait, I don't have to just market to people in my zip code. I have the entire world that I can really work with potentially. And so, you know, what, what does that make possible for you today inside of your business? Well, I mean, I have had students in other time zones um not a lot though so i'm still seeing what that holds yeah yeah that's awesome so tell us what does your business look like today um i have a completely full schedule and i get to control it um it goes from 3 30 to 9 monday to thursday and then i have some students on saturday what i love the most about this job is that now I get to have two day weekends <laughs> because I just said I'm taking Friday off. I'm taking Sunday off and I, I said I'm taking them off. So I am. Yeah. You get, you get that power. I know I now take, I kind of have like uh, an office day now. So like Friday's my catch up day. But if I wanted to do something outside of that, I could, um, but it also helps for me to not have to take my work into my weekend with me, which is really nice. And I can really focus on my, my family at that point. So it's like, we get to like choose this lifestyle that we want, which is absolutely incredible. I, I love it. And it, and right now, are you bringing in uh, enough money to be able to pay your bills and do the things that you need to do financially? It's comfortable. So right now, I think it's a good work-life balance because I'm charging enough to work 25 teaching hours and then be comfortable financially. Nice. Well, I don't think there's a lot of teachers in the world that would even believe that like that's even possible, like you can work 25 teaching hours. And of course we know there's planning and, and different things like that, that go on into the process, but 25 teaching hours and um, you charge what what is a comfortable rate for you to be able to charge. And you don't have to work 40 hours a week with students in order to have a successful business. And like you said, your book solid, everybody's book solid is gonna be different. Um, for, for them and for you, uh, 25 hours is a good number and that's fantastic. I am so excited for you. What an exciting time to be able to look back. So that was like, uh, that was one or two years ago that you went through Jumpstart. One and a half, yeah. One and a half, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, and then here you are now and like this is your, your thing. Are you still doing multiple jobs or is tutoring like your main gig right now? This is the only thing I do right now. Wow, incredible. So you've gotten kind of replaced kind of the the nightmare of kind of to juggle all those different things around and just do what you love. I love it. Congratulations, such an amazing journey.